if I can ask you, uh, Lalita Ramakrishnan, uh, you're a global expert in tuberculosis and you've worked on it for years in India, in fact. Are there any similarities, anything to learn, any lessons from how to handle TB and use some of that, uh, some of those methods or learnings for uh, COVID-19? There are many similarities. The obvious similarity between COVID-19 and TB is that they both spread by the respiratory route. So uh, you have uh, people basically breathing out the infection. Now, and, and so, the, and so the, that's immediately, that immediately brings up a point that's quite pertinent to India, which is that who is more likely to get these infections? Both of them. People who live in overcrowded, underventilated situations are by far going to be the ones who both get it and in the case of COVID-19, spread it. Yeah, those sort of uh, uh, factors that you're mentioning are really worrying. And, you know, we think, keep wanting to know are there any lessons we can learn, what to do, what not to do, given past experience and other types of in, uh, illnesses. But, you know, you never know whether they'll really work or not, and you may make a mistake if you just copy what you did. But what are the differences, uh, to put it simply for a, a layperson audience, between TB and coronavirus, and what makes the coronavirus even more worrying in terms of the spreading of the disease than TB? Is it more worrying or, or not? Now, there are a couple of differences between TB and COVID-19. One thing is that, you know, infections spread by something called droplets. That's, you know, when you sneeze, when you, or even when you talk, you can get these big droplets. They're not ones you can see, but they're much, much bigger than the very fine droplets that spread TB. And the, those fine droplets, they're actually not even really droplets. They're called aerosols. And so, uh, COVID is spread mostly by big droplets, and as a result, it's a lot more contagious than TB is. Now, the other commonality between these two is that most people with both COVID-19 and with TB have asymptomatic infection. In other words, most people who get this infection will never show symptoms and they'll just clear it. Uh, wow. Yes, so that's true for both. Now, there's one big difference though that's emerged. People who are asymptomatically infected with TB never spread it. And that's because you need these cough aerosols in order to spread uh, TB, as I told you before. However, in COVID-19, uh, it, it's become very clear that people who have, uh, you know, who have no symptoms whatsoever, they, they put out droplets that contain the virus when they when they talk, when they sing, when they sneeze. So that's why COVID-19 is even more contagious uh, than, than TB. Actually, that's a very crucial point that you can still spread it when you have no symptoms, you're asymptomatic. 